Hey guys, this is a very quick midweek video and I just want to address one very important thing which is about the Sonos version 14.12 firmware update and what it did to the Sonos Arc. So we all love our Sonos Arc but the version 14.12 did something very very major to the sound signature of the Sonos Arc. And what is it? Because one of the things that they claim is that it has enhanced the dialogue. Now, short answer is, I think the dialogue has been enhanced, but there are a couple of things that happen as well. So there are three things that I want to dive in deeper in another video where I'll address, I'll spend the entire video addressing these three points. The first, the volume has dropped. Second, the bass, after you match the volume up to original levels in 14.10, the bass has actually increased and the treble has been recessed a little bit. So these are the three quick points. Now, what I want to release in today's video is I did a recording of the Sonos Arc before the update to 14.12. So it was at version 14.10. I did a video recording and I captured the sound using a binaural microphone. And I also did a recording of the same mic in the same position with the soundbar in the same place of 14.12. And then I applied the recorded sound into a spectrum analyzer. And I'll put up the spectrum analyzer across these two videos so that you can compare. So how you do the video and how you read the video, unfortunately, I don't have enough time to do that today. But when you run through the video, you can pause at specific segments to actually compare the spectrum analyzer, what the output is at between 20 and 20,000 hertz to see how the sound has differed. And you have to bear in mind that these two videos were recorded with the Sonos Arc soundbar set at volume 60 for both the video clips. So at the same volume setting, the 14.12 made the Sonos Arc softer. So you will notice that there is less output at every frequency between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. And you will definitely notice that there is a reduction in the bass there is also a reduction in the treble response because the overall volume is just lower. Now, in the final video that I'm going to be releasing this weekend when I have a little bit more time, I will suggest ways where you can counter that difference that 14.12 has brought to your Sonos Arc. If you enjoy the sound from 14.12, then great for you. If you want to retain the original sound signature for 14.10, there are a couple of tricks that you can do and yet still retain the improved dialogue coming out of your Sonos Arc. So without further ado, I will leave you to the videos. I have to sign off for today. I've been really tired after traveling and working. So I'll see you this weekend. Meanwhile, enjoy the two clips and pause at specific points to observe the spectrum analyzer and you will be able to tell where the differences are. I know someone has posted on the Sonos community forum, but this is the entire video of the frequency response of the Sonos Arc before and after the 14.12 update. I hope you find this useful. So as usual, I'll see you in my next video. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Soundscape sets the mood of a scene. Come on, you guys, let's go. Or captures the full extent of nature's fury.
This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Whether the soundscape sets the mood of a scene captures the full extent Secret. of nature's fury.